Wow. Wasn't sure if you were gonna show. I told you I could handle it. Hey, Sam. I think you enjoy yourself. You just have to loosen up. Loosen up. To relax, especially after being nervous. To start to feel less embarrassed and to become more relaxed when you are with other people, or to make someone feel like this. She seemed quite nervous at the beginning, but she soon loosened up. Loosen up can also mean stretching your muscles, especially by doing special exercises before a hard physical activity. You should do a few stretches to loosen up before you run. Get off the simmer. Nathaniel! What's up, baby? How you been? Look at you! You are shining like a bright light. Shine. To send out or reflect light. The morning sunlight shone through the curtains. Shine. To make something smooth and bright by rubbing. I need to shine my shoes. Shine. To be extremely good at an activity or skill. She's terrible at cooking, but she shines at tennis. In this movie clip, he uses shine like a bright light to compliment her. Meaning she is stunningly beautiful. Shining like a star, shining like a bright light, and shining like a diamond are always used to compliment people. We just got here. You know what? I'm not the girl for you. Oh, come on. Just come inside for a minute. We'll have a good time. It's really OK. I I've done this. When I was a gymnast back in high school. Gymnast. A person who is skilled at performing controlled physical exercises, often on special equipment, sometimes in sports competitions. My best event was the keg stamp keg stand. A drinking game in which one person, typically assisted by others, performs a handstand on top of a beer keg while trying to drink from it for as long as possible. You were a gymnast? Unbelievable. That's a valid question. You said you were a gymnast. I asked the question. That is exactly why I'm walking away right now. <laughs> because you're, you're uptight? Uptight worried, or nervous and not able to relax. Don't get uptight about the exam. Just do your best. And you don't know how to have a good time? You have the emotional intelligence of a 15-year-old boy. <laughs> and you think I would be interested in going out with you or going back up in the club? I don't think so. Thank you, judgmental princess. Judgmental. If you say that someone is judgmental, you are critical of them. Because they form opinions of people and situations very quickly. When it would be better for them to wait until they know more about the person or situation. I'm trying not to be judgmental about my son's new girlfriend. Can we just call it a night? Can we please call it a night? Call it a night. To go home or go to bed at the present time. Professor Mendy? You know what, guys? Let's, let's, let's call it a night, huh? But what about the relative position? I can't figure this one out. Not, not tonight, guys. Sorry. Like being a party fool, but tomorrow is very important. Like, you better Happy call it a night. Uh, Bob to sing his way home. Good night. Sayonara. Have fun. Ciao. Come back to the retirement village. I'll see you soon. Oh my god. This is not happening. 
this is not happening. This expression is often used to indicate that. We don't want to accept the problem or the situation. Absolutely not. I'm being serious. Why would I just, kiss you? Just no. kiss me right now. No. Right now, I'm not going to kiss you. Kiss you. Why, why, you're bipolar. You're... Bipolar. Affected by bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is a mental health condition in which a person can be extremely depressed one moment and energetic, excited the next. Oh. Lauren. Uh. Lauren, hey. Oh. There you are. Oh, Steve. Oh my god, that is so funny running into you again. Run into someone. To meet someone you know. When you are not expecting to. She ran into her ex-boyfriend on the street. This is my boyfriend, FDR. Huh. He, uh, he's the surgeon that we were talking about. Huh. Yeah. Neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon is a doctor who performs operations involving the brain or nerves. Neuro is a prefix means relating to nerves or the nervous system i'm the department head of the children's hospital wow that's amazing ah. he is he's really amazing stop so. it amazing you know i gotta be honest with you i don't know what makes me happier the smile on a child's face I'm waking up next to you every morning i love you i love you too <laughs> that's so funny Jinx. Jinx! Exclamation! It is said when two people accidentally say the same thing at the same time. What happened? We both say at exactly the same time. Jinx! Jinx! When used as a noun. It means bad luck, or a person or a thing that is believed to bring bad luck. There must be a jinx on our school. Four of our teachers were injured this morning. Jinx can also be a verb. It means causing a person or group to experience bad luck. I thought we would win, but I didn't say so. I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> We're really happy. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. But I, who wouldn't be happy with a girl like this? Look at her. She's got everything. She's got the beauty, the style, the grace. So sweet to me. Did you know she was a gymnast in the high school? No, I didn't know that. Didn't think so. Yeah. He likes it. <laughs> Frisky, I love it. Yeah. Frisky. A frisky animal or person is energetic and playful and may be difficult to control. A frisky puppy. You are so lucky. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Bye now, guys. Bye. Yep. Okay, thank you so much. I'm sorry, what did you say? This, this ear's a little deaf. I said thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be annoying about it. Do you want to go grab a bite? I know a pizza place around the corner. Grab a bite. To seek out or prepare some food to eat. Especially a snack or a small meal that can be consumed quickly. You owe me an explanation for whatever that was. Okay, yeah? you're right, I do. Sure. Let's go. Okay. 